This is weatherwizkids.com and it is designed by this meteorologist, Crystal Wicker. And she created this website for kids to have them learn about weather, basically. And she wanted to design this website so that teachers and students both could use it just for a resource. Um, and I guess she thought weather was really important since she's a meteorologist and wanted everybody else to think so too. So it has the topics on the left side right here and it, it gets into folklore and words and instruments and photos. I mean, it just has games and safety. It has a lot of different resources and then it also just has topics. So I'm gonna go into clouds to show an example. And at first it starts out with what are clouds and it just tells, you know, a basic definition and then it talks about how clouds are formed and why are they white and why do they turn gray and it answers just questions that any elementary school student could potentially have about clouds and it also shows different um, graphics to illustrate like this one talks about obviously fog and driving in it and um, how southerly winds bring warm moist air over cold ground or snow and that's what forms fog and then here it has a cloud chart to show you the different types of clouds like cirrus alto stratus and then um, what kind of clouds they create um, and how high those clouds can be and then it gives definitions or explanations and descriptions and then pictures of each type of cloud um, and it goes into more depth towards the bottom um, and it gets to cloud activities where you could, well it actually gives you lesson plans um, in PDF files and it also gives you activities which are experiments that you could do with your class or a parent could do with their child at home or a child could decide to do for a science project. So what this website is is just a resource to talk about all different types of weather um, and it is made very, very kid friendly. Obviously, you can easily select something from the side menu and you can read it and it's clear and simple. Um, and students could use this as a resource for a project or like I was saying before, they could use the bottom for science experiments or just in general if they are interested in clouds or weather. So that is weatherwizkids.com.